So, you want to lose weight. How did I do it? How did I get super lean? And how do I maintain it? Six months ago, I decided I wanted to lose weight and lose fat and also compete in a bodybuilding show in the bikini division. Bikini division is the smallest, which means you don't need that much muscle. Okay guys, I finished. I got first call outs, which means I came top six and I didn't even think I was gonna play. So I'm really, really happy. Yay. That is what this video is gonna be about because I'm really passionate about sharing my journey and um, I hope I can motivate others. So yeah, let's get into it. I think I have three things that are super important. Mindset, macros, and so diet. Uh, mindset, diet, and training is exactly what you need if you wanna get lean. I knew that if I wanted to achieve this, there wasn't any time to play games. There wasn't any time to procrastinate or to cheat myself because if I was going to be on stage, then I was going to be on stage and that's just going to be like embarrassing if I didn't reach the physique that I needed to in order to be show ready. Or I knew that I, if I was to pull out of it, I wouldn't feel good about myself either. So that was one thing that really helped me was knowing that I had this goal but of course the average person is not gonna have um, a bodybuilding show goal so I understand why it can be tough for some people but yeah anyway within my mindset I think there were three things self-identity, commitment and discipline. So basically I started self-identifying myself as this person that I wanted to be. The person that I wanted to be was somebody who uh, who really valued fitness and, and who really identified themselves as that. In order to self-identify as this fitness person means I always had to go to the gym, right? And I had to eat a certain weight, right? And that's what I did. And I didn't skip out on sessions and I didn't cheat or lie to myself that's why i've been able to see the results and i have seen so yeah i started self-identifying by believing i was this person and by doing the actions that this person would do second was a commitment i was completely committed this is kind of linked to self-identity um yeah didn't skip workouts and you know it was really tough because going to the gym when you haven't reached a certain level of strength or like physical appearance you feel kind of like what am i doing here i don't i don't feel like i fit in i feel like i'm not strong i feel like i'm working out but like i'm still like i feel unattractive or whatever so that's really tough in the first few weeks i'm not gonna lie but then it's really really rewarding after a few weeks when you start seeing results and you know what you're doing is working so i had to just really stick to it and it was really tough in the first few months but then it's really worth it after you see some results so yeah and then like i think um, I didn't touch on it yet, discipline. If you wanna achieve something in six months, it's fine, it's realistic, but it, it's also a little tight because like, yeah, you can achieve things in six weeks, in three months, six months, but usually the best is like even longer, like a year long change so that it's really sustainable. But if we're talking about like big lifestyle change in six months, I don't think that it's that much time. So I think that you need to be really, really disciplined. For example, if your workout regimen is five times a week, then you go five times a week. You don't wake up one day and say, oh, am I gonna go to the gym today? It's not even an option. It's just like, okay, when do I go to the gym? And also you can use the five second rule. That's something that I use. If I'm feeling a bit lazy, I just think like, if I'm procrastinating and I know I need to go to the gym, I give myself five seconds, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. And then you just get up and you just go. Yeah, it was really tough. I remember there were days where like the weather is really bad and you don't wanna go, you don't wanna get up. You feel comfortable in your own home. But how do you achieve things? Through getting yourself out of your comfort zone and doing things that you don't, that don't feel best. If we only do things that we only do 
in the moment that feel good that give us um, instant gratification or short-term gratification then we wouldn't be anywhere and you do see people like that that haven't accomplished much and that is because they rely way too much on short-term gratification so yeah discipline commitment kind of the same you just have to be committed to the plan um just go even if you don't do as much as what you wanted to do at the gym at least you did something and we've always heard something is better than nothing right for losing weight for losing fat it's all going to be about energy expenditure your energy intake has to be less than your energy expenditure so you can do that by two ways by consuming less food or less calories not necessarily less food because you can still eat a lot depending on the food so by consuming less calories or by essentially like working out more by moving more but then of the day it's going to be a lot easier to just eat a little less rather than trying to do more cardio the best option is doing both which is what i did and also getting in a lot of steps i think i average like 20,000 steps a day sometimes 30,000 and then sometimes 10 so I think I average about 20,000 and I also cycle to work and I'm just a really active person and I also do cardio about five times a week because I generally love it so my energy expenditure my energy output is really high that's how I'm able to sustain being lean now because I still eat in a way that I know suits my body and I'm still on a deficit but I'm slowly changing that. What I do in order to make the calorie deficit easier is I have lots of salads and lots of soups. I talk a lot about this on my Instagram, so if you want, you can follow to have a look at what I eat. Um, because for me, it's not that tough to be on a calorie deficit. I think once you get used to it, eating like whole foods, which are tend to be low in calorie, um, then it's kind of easy to to continue so yeah I'm just really used to eating really whole foods and also plant-based so um, yeah maybe that's why it's easier for me Finally training. I train uh, six times a week, if anything sometimes seven and I just do cardio because I love being active. I don't know why but of course I shower every day but when? If I don't go to the gym I literally feel like what did you do today? Like you didn't even move much today. So basically my point is that I love being active every day. Anyway, I'm training about lifting about five, six times a week. Three times a week lower body and two times a week upper body. And what you need to do is reach hypertrophy, which is basically the state of your muscle growing. And you do that by putting it in kind of stress. That, that's why it feels like it needs to grow so that it can uh, like protect, defend itself, I guess. Um, yeah, so lifting a lot and of course to be honest sleep i'm not really the best at sleeping good amounts of time but i do know that your muscle needs a uh, good rest for repairing itself which is essentially part of the growth so i do think that if you have this as your goal that you should also prioritize sleep so yeah um thank you so much for watching I really want to make videos talking more about my journey and tips and tricks of how I maintain this physique, this lifestyle. Like I said, follow my Instagram because I actually post a lot about like my food and my workouts and I usually post whenever I go to the gym so maybe it can motivate you too. Please ask me in the comments. Um, any questions or please let me know what you'd like to see I live in Tokyo so I can also show you Japanese products that I buy and and stuff like that yeah <laughs>